All right, this is Artifacts Mars, and this is part two of the uh, same uh, theme here. We're going to look at the Commissioner Mary Ellen Ilya. So, as you can see, I'm assignment asking students to argue in support of the Holocaust could prompt critical thinking. I know what I'm thinking, but she's not wearing a burka, so... I can pretty much rule that out. But a teacher in Oswego County, City Bosey's new vision program earlier this year, asked students to put themselves in the Nazi leader's shoes and argue for or against the final solution to exterminate Jewish people. I can't believe that this woman... Why does this woman still have a job? A Elia responded to an assignment after she spoke this morning at a round table at Syracuse's Rosamond Gifford Zoo. She gave her free speech around the same time as Syracuse.com published an article about students who were upset with an assignment. I can understand... I would be pissed. Like you said, I would be angry. Ilya was not aware of the assignment given locally, but she said critical thinking that stems from this type of essay could be good for students. She's insane. This woman is insane. She does not deserve to draw a paycheck. I think it's certainly a question where you want to where you want students to think on both sides and analyze which position a person is taking, Elia said. The idea of being able to identify the perspective an article has or a writer has is a very important skill. No, it isn't when you're uh, sitting there trying to justify evil. Now, this is the type of person who would defend Satan. Ilya, who taught social studies near Buffalo for several years, says she would judge the appropriateness of an assignment based on the age of the students in the class, the material and background and information leading up to the assignment, how the assignment was presented in class. Those factors would influence the appropriateness or not. She's insane. The concept of having students identify a particular position is... Pretty, pretty critical whether they can analyze position and then decide whether they agree or not. Uh, you stupid cow. Excuse me, how can you sit there and justify all those murders, billions and millions and millions of murders? You're asking high school students to sit there and justify the extermination of the Jews. Well, excuse me, that can't be justified. <sighs> Administrators of the program declined to be interviewed, but some statement that an alternative essay was offered after the students brought forth concerns. This thing never should have been offered never should have even been considered. Current students Arch Archer, Shirklift, and Jordan April, who took issue with an assignment, the essay was given during a series of lessons on war. Prior to the essay, class watched the movie Conspiracy, which recreates the Wansi conference where high-level Nazis devised the final solution. The Anti-Defamation League condemned the assignment after students contacted the organization which advocates for Jews. I don't normally go along with ADL, but I have to agree with them on this one. ADL Education Director Beth Martinez said no assignment should ever be given that even hints at there being two sides to the Holocaust. Yeah, that's... Quite right. Jordan and Archer said they hope the teacher will apologize and they are calling on administrators to agree never to give the assignment again. 
Unbelievable. So, here we have what are essentially neo-Nazi scum running uh, New York's education system. What else am I supposed to think here? They're neo-Nazi scum. I call them as I see them. They're anti-Semites, they're Jew haters. Uh, how can anybody... I, I'm i losing it. I'm sorry, I'm losing it. I want to face Mars. I'm losing it. I gotta go because I, I'm just gonna go right off the rails if I don't. I want to face Mars. Thanks for watching.